Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a project, an ephemera project for my Daisy Dreams journal that I've been talking about. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of the journal on camera because I have other projects going on and I can't film everything so I'm just going to be doing a few things in the journal on camera. So today I decided, I watched um, a video by Tanya over at Taddy Treasures on uh, YouTube and Facebook and her and Terry Lee um, are both part of the group there over on Facebook and they are doing a, oh I can't remember what they called it, um, not you do it, I do it, but I can't remember what it was called. Um, I'll, li I'll link the, the verbiage in the, or put it down in the description box so you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not loony, I promise. But they basically are doing a, f a file folder kind of folio. <coughs> I am simplifying mine because it is just an insert for the Daisy Dreams journal. So I'm going to show you, I've already, as you, as I usually do guys, especially with a complex project like this, I have already prepped my entire project. Um, I've got all my pockets inked and cut. Um, I have not done any of the ephemera, so we'll do another video with the ephemera. We'll make tags and things like that and maybe some clusters and things like that to put in here. But um, I am going to show you how, how I did the folder or how um, Tanya showed me how to do the folder. So I used, um, I followed her video exactly in terms of the file folder that I used. She used one that was a middle tab. I don't have any more middle tabs. I did use a middle tab for this one and it just basically is creating this look. I'm not sure what this is going to create but we're going to try it together. So I thought I would show you that really quick just so you don't miss out on all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, what you want to do is score this at let me get my note here. We're going to score this at five and three quarters. I'm going to move this so you guys can see the front. Hopefully you guys can see that. Focus is a little wonky right now. So five and three quarters. It's a little dark in here so I'm having trouble seeing. So this is my five and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and score there. Oh man, I just went, I went off. Oh my goodness gracious, come on. It's not that hard, Renee. There we go, five and three quarters. And I think I followed her instructions wrong because I didn't end up with a the spine size that she did. I'm not sure what I did, but I'm not worried about it because I got the spine size that, that I was happy with, which let me just show you what that looks like. That's my spine. So I'm gonna be putting a little miniature uh, signature in there. Um, it, when you try this, you can do whatever you like, do what suits you. And I'm going to score it again at six and a quarter. I think part of the problem here is that I just put lotion on my hands. <laughs> and so I'm having trouble holding on to this bone folder. Goodness gracious. There we go. So we've got our two score lines. And now I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to score again. I'm going to stand because I can't quite get a good look at this because it is not very bright in here right now. So I'm just uh, emphasizing that score mark on this top part and I'm going to do the same here. And again, I did vary what I did because there was some overhang that I didn't like and I was just feeling a little anxious about how that was going to turn out in the end. So I went ahead and just did some trimming. So and then we're going to go ahead and score here as well if I can get that mark. <laughs> There we go, and one more, and then we can put the scoreboard away and I can talk to you about what this looks like. So there you go, bye bye scorecard, scoreboard, scorecard, oh my goodness. <laughs> so now we're going to fold it like so, and what did she do? So you want the um, this flap to be on the outside and then the cut to be on the inside, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this on that first score line. And I could have done this completely wrong because I, I got a little bit of a different result, but I'm still super happy with it. And I love what it did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, give this a really good burnish. Goodness. The lotion's not a good idea before you sit down to do a project, but my fingers are so dry and 
the skin, um, the skin not like from my cuticles, but down here, like if I hit it on something, it pe starts to peel the skin. It just peels a whole layer of skin off, and it's so painful. I have no idea what's going on with my body right now, but I feel old. I feel like I've got old hands or something. So there we go. So then we're going to do the same with the other score line. Hopefully. <laughs> In its last words, right? I'm gonna give that a good burnish. This is really tough because file folder is really thick, really thick. So I'm just gonna do that. And so, so now what we have here is we have a little signature, or we have a little spine rather. So what I didn't like is that, for one thing, I don't like the, the I don't like the tab on the in the positions in right now um, but it would totally work I mean there's nothing wrong with it at all um, and then what you do is you're going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to cut along this score line all the way down and all the way across and I'll show you why here in a second Let me make sure I've got this going the right way it's kind of weird because of the way that the, the where where this landed is throwing me off a little bit. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, see we have this overhang here. And Tanya said that it works out in the end because I think Terry said it would work out. But again, I didn't risk it on my project because it just made me nervous, so I trimmed it up. But you can totally do what you want. So let's go ahead and cut this. I am going to ink this though because I had trouble uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to take the risk. It's just kind of dark in here right now, and I'm having trouble I'm tr having trouble seeing, but let's just give it a try. Let's give it a shot. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm kind of... I had a friend over this morning, had a really wonderful visit. Um, really, really was good for both of us. It's Saturday, the 5th of... March and I usually have my Sunday's Art of Truth going up on the channel on Sunday tomorrow but I am not doing a Sunday's Art of Truth. I felt like I really needed to take a little bit of a breather um, and do some self-care so I haven't really been I've been fussing around in the studio did the, all this prep while watching some YouTube videos that I've been wanting to catch up on in the studio so that's what I've been doing so I feel a little bit better just kind of not doing the Sunday's Art of Truth this week. And it is okay to do things that take care of ourselves. So the way this is going to work is going to open like this, which I kind of actually like that look on that panel versus mine. And then this one folds down. And, um, and then what you do with this piece is you put this piece back on here like this. I'm not going to do it, but we're going to, we would glue it right here so that it's coming off of the back back piece right here and then it's going to flip open so I hope that makes sense it will when I show you the project so I'm just going to uh, staple this on a paper clip this so I, I can use this later on an another project so as per is my normal style <laughs> I did um, again I did measure and cut and do all that because especially if it's a new project, it makes me really nervous to not do that. I have written on everything. So this is the way mine opens. This is the front. This is the inside, excuse me, the inside left panel. This is the flip down. This is the inside, whoops. Yeah, inside. <laughs> this is the flip down. Oh my goodness. And that looks kind of, looked kind of weird to me, but it's okay. It's going to be all right. I might put something else here. I'm not sure if I'm liking that. I think I might put a piece of that, of this. And I'll tell you in a second what the papers, who, where the papers are from. Goodness gracious. And then this flips open like that this way. And we've got a pocket. We've got a CD, a CD insert, and another pocket. So, but I am going to trade out this piece because I'm not, I feel like it's just... Um, I printed the lace paper on this um, coffee dyed paper, but I'm not liking it. So give me just a quick second, you guys, and let me let me change my mind. It's okay to do that, right? Might be a little bit of a shorter pocket, just slightly, but we're gonna just go ahead and be flexible here. 
And so today what we're going to do is we're just going to basically glue all this stuff down. So I, I will talk intermittently, but I'll have spaces of time where I can kind of speed the video up. As you know, I do want to honor your time, um, so I'm not going to chatter the whole time. But I thought, well, I got this all this prep done, so why not just go ahead and turn the camera on and give it a go? So I'm going to ink that up. So this lace paper is from Angela Kerr Designs over on Etsy, and um, it's the first time I've used it. I've had it in my um, on my computer for a while, but just just hadn't used it. So um, so I, I did go ahead and do that, and then um, this paper is called Grunge Butterfly uh, Grunge Daisies, and it's from Digital Fit, and I absolutely adore it. I think there's seven pages. And they are all slightly different, as you can see. They are uh, slightly different, but they all have the daisies, and they're just gorgeous. So now what I need to do is take the big risk and start taking these things off a little bit, so that I can, um, so that I can start gluing on. I forgot one thing. Where did I do with it? I um, this was the only middle tab file folder I had and I had was using it for storage so I'm going to take a piece of the of the file folder and put it up there and cover that because I can't as you see I can't um, I can't do that and I also will need to come in I did forgot to cut a piece for the inside of the spine and the outside of the spine I did that on my kind of my um, the one I was playing around with but I forgot to do it here so enough talking Kara Renee so I'm gonna start gluing if I feel like it's something that's just elementary I'm not gonna talk through it um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you listen so to music or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here hopefully let me just turn it so I don't have to un undo everything right now I'm not ready to, to undo <laughs> undo all of that so I'm just gonna put some Fabri-Tac on here and glue that on so that I don't have any other way to cover that. It's gonna it's gonna show no matter what. I tried a variety of things and it's just not working. So I'm just gonna stick that on there and I can trim that up in a second when it's dry. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and start with, um, let's start with the inside here just because it's what's in front of us. And I'll set that aside, actually, because I kind of want to not take it apart. That's <laughs> I keep saying that, don't I? I'm a little bit nervous about taking it apart. Do you sense that? I think I need to trim that off, though, because that's going to bother me until it's gone. So hold on. I'm going to try to do a flip here. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I'm just going to go with this. I'll trim that off later. So here we go. So, and I will ink the folder um, later. I'm not too concerned about it. Tanya did ink hers first, and she also did stamping in case she had any papers that were, were not going to fill up the space. I knew I had papers that were going to cover it fine, um, but she was using a kit from um, Taylor Made Journals that it was landscape, uh, landscape uh, layout. So it was not as easy for her to cover it. So I'm gonna use my, um, I think I'll use my Barely Arts here and just get this glued on and I'm just gonna be quiet for a bit. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to take the stuff off here. It's all kind of together because it's all paper clipped based on its location. 
And so then that's the back, and I believe that also has a note on it. Yes. Okay, so there you go. You can see my all my little notes. Back left panel, middle, back inside panel, front cover. Um, the dimensions, I was going to try to tell you the dimensions of, of the pieces, but it would depend on how you fold your file folder and all kinds of other things. So I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to go into that detail. I'm going to go ahead and trim this off really quick though. Perhaps. I meant to do that off camera. I forgot. It's okay. I can get my scissors in there. I felt pretty proud of myself for not getting too completely, you know, discombobulated by all the flips and flaps of stuff here. You know me, those don't really go well. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and go back to the cover here and get our um, get our front cover on just to be done with that. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the front cover, so there's no pocket or anything yet. We can just pause there. No need to rush ahead. So again, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac because I can get more out. And um, I guess I'm short on patience right now. <laughs> I also have been um, feeling really physically just uncomfortable. Um, we have a little kiddo at school, my job, that we have to transition him a lot. Um, and he's a, he's a big boy, uh, he's heavy. And uh, I think we're gonna have to make some changes to how we're doing that because it, my back is really sore and I cannot risk injuring my back again. I've already had surgery on it about 18 years ago or so, so I do not want to relapse into that. I've been having no problems with it, so I mean it gets sore and stuff, but not like this, so I've also been kind of uncomfortable in my, my skin here, my body. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on there and I'm trying to just, um, I'm more concerned about this top area here than I am about any other part of this. So, um, and I, again, just like I say all the time, perfection is not in play here because this kind of project is really subject to a lot of variables and you have to be okay with it not being perfect. So when I ink up, these um, these corners, I mean, ink up the edges of the file folder, it's going to be fine. So that is our front. That's the inside. And let's go ahead and do the front, inside, middle, middle, back. <laughs> uh, front, inside, middle. See? It works. I was all worried about nothing. Worried for nothing. So this is, this is one of the kits pages from the kit. Isn't that amazing? Gave me a great idea to use some of my old mixed media backgrounds and do some pen and ink kind of work and create something like this. It would be phenomenal. I could do it. I know I could, but just I've never thought about it before. That one seems high for some reason, but that's okay. We're going to go with it.
So the reason why I'm putting belly bands on this part is because I have trouble with pockets if I'm doing a flip. So this is upright when it's like this. Sorry, I can't have everything in view. Um, but when I flip it down, things could fall out of a pocket. So I did a belly band for that reason. So I'm going to do a belly band on the front as well, just with a piece of this um, kind of ecru looking colored lace. But I think I cut it long enough that I could kind of tuck it behind and hopefully help to secure it a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Fabri-Tac here and see how this goes. I This lace is not the best for this, but... I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm trying to butt it up as close to that, this curvy part as I can, just for um, the sake of being even on either end, on either side, hopefully. Just enough to kind of secure it there. And then we're going to do the same with the other end. And hopefully I can get this straight. We'll have some wiggle room when I turn it over. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit. I love lace belly bands. I think they're very, very, uh, a very great added feature in a journal. Just a little bit of different of a, different of a textile feel. That's not really holding very well, is it? <laughs> Goodness gracious, come on. What is it going to take, man? Holy cow. Okay, that's better. So, and then we're going to go ahead and glue that on. I think we're, ooh, we're a little bit crooked. Let's see if we can scooch that over. Um, it is bending a little bit or bowing a little bit. I think that's going to be okay, though. Now we're going to go ahead and glue her down. I'm going to kind of bend this paper, see if I can get it to lay flatter. So we're going to glue this on, and this time I, when I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac again, especially right there, but I am using Fabri-Tac everywhere. Not making any pockets. This is a much simpler kind of file folder project in that I'm not doing a bunch of hidden stuff, and that was at the request of the person who is has asked me to do this journal is to not have a lot of hidden stuff and so I'm trying to keep everything kind of straight up and not difficult to find or easy to keep easier to lose track of I guess is what I mean so just trying to keep it simple for the recipient I don't know her but I know my best friend and I know that she's she means something to her and so she means something to me so I'm going to go ahead and stand up a little bit just so I can kind of get this centered and on here. So we're going to just place that baby right there. Beautiful. Oh, this is turning out lovely. Lovely. Not too bad, guys. I'm feeling pretty accomplished <laughs> at this juncture in the day. That belly band's going to be great. So again, it's just like the front one. We've got a belly band something of color there but I'll pick at that later there we go so that's our flip down this is our inside right panel which is um, which is we've got the pieces for the front and the back right here can't keep everything in view guys so sorry I am going to use some of this button trim which I used I believe I used this in my in my personal I Am Grateful journal, but I think I also used it in the, um, in my Bohemian journal, my Bohemian Beauty journal. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. So this is the inside right panel. I didn't write on that one. Good thing I kept it all tacked together. Goodness. And I am thinking of the other things I have to be more thinking about because this flap for the CD envelope has to go under the back page so that's why I'm keeping that all together as well so I'm going to go ahead and get some Fabri-Tac here let you watch
Okay, so I'm going to chat with you here a second through this part because um, I'm going to deal with that that those buttons in a bit here. So this part, this is the panel that's going to go here, but this envelope flap needs to go under it, and I have not glued any of this together. So I'm going to set that aside so I can show you what I did here. So you've seen me do the CD envelopes before. I went ahead and slit the top open, and um, I created a journal card just with a, an image from the one of either the Daisy Bundle or a Daisy Lazy Daisy kit from My Porch Prints, which is going to be incorporated into this journal. So I just created a basic journaling card. So it is not um, backed or anything. I don't mind that. I might ink the edges later, but I did not do that now. So I have the front of my CD, my the front of my CD envelope thing. I did have my can't find my larger circle. I know that I saw it somewhere in the studio, and I thought that is a terrible place for that. I'm never going to be able to find it. And guess what? I can't find it. So <laughs> um, listen to yourself. <laughs> I forgot to ink this stuff up. So give me just a second, guys. There we go. So we don't have to cover the um, the flaps because that's going to be completely tucked under. So let me go ahead and put this bring this back over here. Get some of the stuff out of the way here. And this is going to go. I think the safest thing is just to put it on here and then um, and then glue the whole thing together. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue on the panel on the uh, flap here. I'm really preferring to use Fabri-Tac because it's reliable. Like I never have to fight with it. It just, it just glues. It does its job. It's like the the art glitter glue just gives me grief every time. So tired of it. I know it's such a silly thing to be frustrated about, but when you're creating and you're just trying to get stuff down, it's like, man, I'm gonna go to the the reliable stuff here. So there we go. That's awesome. So we've got a little bit of um, white showing here. So let me just ink that up. Must, something must have been a little bit out of line there, but I don't worry about that as I've mentioned before. It gives it character in my opinion. So now we're gonna glue this down to this panel. Voila, easy peasy. It took a lot of prep, but I did figure out a shortcut. So every time I was, if I was working on this panel, I cut this one, and then I just used it as a as a um, a template for the other side. I just flipped the paper over, so that worked out really well once I figured that out because this would have taken me forever and a day to uh, to get ready. So it worked out really nice. But you can't you can't trust that all the panels are the same size. So I could only do that with this piece and then this piece separate. So I'm gluing myself to my paper here. I can feel the fabric tack all over my my forearm. <laughs> oh goodness! It's also been really hard for me to sit here in the chair for long periods of time. I used to I usually can sit longer, but my back is really bothering me and my shoulders and my neck. I'm lift, lifting this kid. Got to come up with a different, different plan here. So there we go. Let's get that glued on.
Okay, so this is the, this is this panel, right? So turned around, now I'm turned around, right? That's that, that's that. Trust the directions, middle, back, inside, yes. Where did this go though? What did I miss here? Maybe I had that here and I, I forgot that I had this pocket. I think that's what happened. Um, let me just look here. Yeah, because I wanted these to match or be the same style pocket. So um, it looks like this doesn't really have a home right now. Um, so we'll just kind of pick which one I like the best when we get this panel on. And we are just about done, guys. And then I'll come back in video two and we'll do some more ephemera. We'll make some tags and such. And uh, I might have other things that I do off camera that I add to it. This is going to go in the middle of the, in the journal in between the signatures. I usually create a three inch spine. I might not for this journal, it might be a two and a half inch spine with a two, in, two, two signatures in the journal because there's not going to be a lot of hidden stuff like I mentioned in the journal. It's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, there'll be pockets and tags and stuff, but not a bunch of like the bulkier stuff that I tend to do when I'm doing my kind of specialized ephemera. So it's going to be different in that regard. So here we go. And let's get this lined up here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. As I mentioned, this is going to be, oh, not there, on the other side, it's gonna be a signature in here. Just a small one, probably a scrappy kind of signature. So, that's that. So, let's see. I'm really bummed about this. I, I liked that pocket, but it's probably too much to put one there, isn't it? This might be look good with a, one of the tea dyed paper. I'm gonna have to do something with that. I don't like that. I have to put something on there. I'll figure that out. I, I like this one better than that one. So we're gonna go ahead and use this pocket. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say ta-ta for now. Um, I hope you guys are well. I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. And um, thank you so much for coming by, for watching, for supporting, for liking, and all of that stuff. I hope that you'll try it. I hope that you'll check out the video links that I have. I will link uh, Terry's video as well as uh, Tanya's or at least their channels. I know that they're each of them is doing this project, but they're doing it in multiple uh, videos as well. So I don't know that I'll link every one of them, but I will link their channel and then you can um, check it out for yourself. I'll try to get the name right though about what the challenge is, is called because I, I don't have that right. I think I'll create a pocket here also with the lace paper because I feel like it's out of balance. So um, I felt like these complemented each other really well. I'm really happy with that. So thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye-bye.